No, congratulations back to winning ways. Just reflect on that one for us. Um, I knew it would be tough because I think Wilds done a really good. I think Stuart does a great job with them. Um, they play really good football. Really got loads of little patterns. He's willing to change shape, so we didn't know whether they'd come and play a three or a four. And we know, similar to us last season, they can change during games from a three to a four. So without the ball, it's hard then to know. You know, you, you can't set up to do your jobs with it because they can change within the game. But I, I thought first half was the key I thought we were very very good we were willing today to and I said to the boys they might have a bit of the ball and we might have to counter attack at times I thought we did that brilliantly in the first half and probably you know, I think we should at least have been 2-0 up at half time um, and then obviously it's a blow they come out higher intensity they press us a bit higher they stopped us trying to get out and the, the second half become difficult for us and we had that spell where they got on top and obviously the goal's coming from a mistake but they've got they've got on top of us and then when you concede again, like we have done a lot recently, when you concede again and you think, oh God, you know, we're one in three, you can see it. it takes character, real character to then go again and find that moment to go and win a game. And when you haven't won in three, it's important to try and dig in and find a way to win. And we've done that today, so the lads need a lot of credit. Mm. Like you say, that first half was, was excellent really, wasn't it? I mean, throughout, you know, we were in complete control for, for much of that first half. Yeah, I thought we limited them very little. They had possession, we knew they would, but everybody, the discipline without the ball, which we talked about in our, we couldn't do too much yesterday in training because we're tired legs, but the, we did it in our video analysis. The discipline without the ball was excellent. And I thought, like I say, we limited them to little, but, you know, their goal is made two or three great saves right at the start. I think Joe's missed the chance. I think if we'd have been 2 0 up at half time, it'd have been fair. Um, but 1 0 is precarious, and once they've equalised, you know, it's easy to think they had all the momentum. But we dug in, we found a way, and that little bit of quality with Joe popping up has, has won it, and uh, the boys need some credit. Yeah, and again, it was another run from Barney for the uh, for the second goal, of course. Uh, named sponsor man of the match as well today. He was outstanding again, wasn't he, on that right-hand side? Yeah, Barney's he's a brilliant player. We love him. Um, and, you know, I've never... I don't think I've worked with somebody who can cross the ball on the run as well as he can and deliver. Um, but, yeah, he, he's a threat. And like you say, Joe can score goals. Dallow can score goals. Dallow should have scored when he had the whole goal opened up and he put it wide. But... Um, you know, we can't score three and four every week and we can't um, rely on our forwards to do that. I thought the defence uh, and the midfield for their, their work, I thought they deserved a clean sheet today and, and unfortunately it hasn't come. Yeah, uh, I mean, Alex back as well. Back. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, it's great to, to, you know, I looked at, um, I'm trying to find the solution at the back. Um, I'm looking at several different things. Good just come back now and he's fit, so... You know, it's a free game week. I wanted to see about the balance of Callum back on the right. Um, and it's something that gives me food for thought. You know, even if Kells comes back in, I might try and keep Callum on the right rather than the left. Um, so there's bits within that. But I, I thought everybody to a man worked hard. I think Wildstone are a really good team. I think Stewart's done an incredible job considering they're not full time. I think their patterns of play and their movement is, is right up there with, with some of the best in the league. Yeah, I mean, obviously, back to winning ways, you know, it's the first win in a couple of games now. Um, how much positive can you take from that going into the games yeah, coming up? I, I think even the positive I can take from the last three games, I thought the Barnet game was a really good end-to-end game that we could have put to bed in the first half other than a world-class goalkeeper but, you know, performance. But the Bromley one, to sort of come back and not lose that game when it seemed like it was uh, likely we would that was pretty special because to have you know to be down to 10 men so that limits us to just the one loss in the three and this point just keeps us in there you know I've said before we've just got to try and hang on in there I think I don't know if we're at five points off top now you know I think we're in and around that so we've just got to keep chipping away trying to get an average points per game you know up in the 1.8 1.9s and that will hopefully keep us in and around the, the group and give us a chance of, of being there going into the last 10 games.